Brian? All right. In the name of Islam, a phrase we have heard following some of the most terrifying events in America. From 9-11 to Fort Hood to the failed Christmas Day and Times Square bombing, Muslim extremists continue to use violence in the name of their religion. But now, one Muslim group finally has had enough and is standing up for peace. Nassim Mahadi is the national VP of one of the oldest Muslim communities in the U.S. and is launching a nationwide Muslims for Peace ad campaign, and he's live to discuss it. Finally, Nassim, we have someone speaking up for peace yeah. and, and Islam. Why now? We, I think it, it was long overdue that uh, people should have come up and, 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 and said that, that this is not, we not only practice peace, but uh, we have to you know, get out and then go door to door. And now we have started an initiative to reach millions of people. And uh, this flyer, which says that uh, Muslims for Peace is being distributed in millions all across the country. And in uh, New York, we have also another initiative that on 100 buses, we have this slogan, Muslims for Peace. And we are promoting MuslimforPeace.org. We are asking that uh, you have questions, 1-800-BY-ISLAM. You, you ask and, and we, we will discuss. So this is an initiative which will... Uh, uh, tell people that uh, Islam means right. peace and not terrorism. Do you feel for yourself and your safety and your family's safety for coming out and condemning the terrorist acts who do these acts in the name of religion and you talking about peace? Do you fear for your welfare? You know, f my personal fear is not important. The fear is that if we don't speak out, then uh, first of all, the majority of the uh, Americans, they will not have uh, this perception which, uh, uh, which is very damaging that perhaps every Muslim is, uh, is a terrorist. Right. So we have to change this perception. And secondly, our own next generation is in danger because there's lot of propaganda by these extremists through internet and through other means and they are trying to tell them that this is a holy war against United States this is a holy war right. against the, the infidels and you have to take part and Faisal Shahzad was a, a person very well educated from a very good family and then he was converted uh, to, to a bomber so what is he interpreting about your religion wrongly you know, the, the, the religion is being exploited uh, for the sake of politics, for the sake of control of masses. And uh, this is something very ugly. And we say that all the Muslims, and we say that majority of the Muslims, right. vast majority of the Muslims are moderate vast majority of Americans. But they don't Muslims. speak up. You're the only one. So you're yes. one of the few speaking up. I can so, count them on one hand. Yes, so we are saying and we are getting good feedback from other Muslims that you are doing the great thing and we want to support you. Well, it's great. And now you have a website to talk about it. We've got to have you back and talk about what's happening over at uh, the World Trade Center, building a mosque center there, because I know you, you want to talk about that as well. Muslims for Peace is the organization, and uh, you have that website out. Thanks so much for joining us and coming in today. Thank you. Okay.